Hello everyone and welcome back to the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough. In the last video we finished maximizing everyone's affinity and my plan was to finish the main story. However, before we do that it's important to take a detour to complete the Far Harbor DLC because there's an extremely rare power armor set that is only attainable through a fairly convoluted process. And for a collector or a perfect playthrough, we just can't let ourselves miss it. Progressing through Far Harbor's story is fairly straightforward. There are three factions, Far Harbor, Acadia, and the Children of Adam in the Nucleus. Each faction has initial quests and then side quests, most of which are guided by a quest to help the various people within the faction. It's fun to bring Nick Valentine along as he has a lot of special dialogue throughout the DLC. Basically just do all of the quests for all of the factions until the only Far Harbor quest remaining in your log is best left forgotten. Now it's time for the worst part of the whole DLC, which is the five part tedious puzzle quest. I'm a huge fan of puzzle mini games, but this one is just awful. Seriously, does anyone actually enjoy these? They're all pretty easy aside from the final one, which is somewhat challenging but equally tedious. At this point, let's get the rare power armor. There's a miscellaneous quest to inform either the Brotherhood, the Institute, or the Railroad of the existence of Acadia. If you inform the Brotherhood or the Institute, the quest will lead to the destruction of Acadia, and the rewards aren't really worth the cost. However, we can initiate the Brotherhood search and destroy quest by notifying Notifying Lance Captain Kells. One note, doing this before completing Blind Betrayal makes it easier to complete without interfering with the main story. If you've already finished the main story and the Brotherhood is still alive, you can still do this quest as well. Search and Destroy will activate, notifying you to meet Night Captain Larson in Far Harbor. When you arrive, don't talk to Night Captain Larson. Instead, kill all of his team of soldiers and take their loot. Night Captain Larson is marked as essential, but he's currently wearing the only Night Captain Brotherhood of Steel power power armor in the game, and this is only available right now. To get him out of his power armor, you can shoot or pickpocket the fusion core, causing him to leave the power armor. This power armor is marked as owned, so I had my companion steal it to avoid causing problems. Again, don't talk to Night Captain Larson, as that will initiate the attack on Acadia, making you hostile with them. Once you have the power armor, just take it somewhere safe and continue on with the DLC, ignoring the Night Captain. If you are picky about clearing your quest log, you can either finish Finish this quest in the future after you're completely done with everything, or if you end up doing a main story ending that kills the Brotherhood of Steel, that will also cause the quest to automatically fail. Anyway, now it's time to make our final decisions with Far Harbor. There are several different results available, and I don't want to go too deep into all the possible routes, but I will mention all of the rewards possible. First, you can go the peaceful route, keeping all three factions alive by helping Dima plant a synth into the lead of the Children of Adam. This rewards you with the legendary unique Zealot's marine armor chest called Adam's Bulwark, along with the Protector of Acadia perk, which triggers when you drop below 20% health, giving 1000 damage and energy resistance for 30 seconds. Additionally, you'll get Acadia's Shield, which is a clean synth chest piece with one agility, one intelligence, and one endurance. You get this for agreeing to keep Dima secret. Second, if you tell Far Harbor about Dima's actions, you can initiate a raid on Acadia. This will reward you with Lucky Eddie, which is a one-of-a-kind lever action rifle, but not particularly interesting or strong, especially compared to Adam's Bulwark. In addition, you'll receive the Destroyer of Acadia perk, increasing damage by 400% for 30 seconds when dropping below 20% health. If you agreed to keep Dima secret, you'll no longer have the opportunity to go this route. If you destroy the Nucleus by launching the nuclear missile, you'll be rewarded with the Far Harbor Survivalist perk, giving you a flat plus 5 to all resistances and no item reward. However, you can still go this route even after receiving Acadia's shield for keeping Dima secret. And finally, you can choose to destroy Far Harbor by shutting down the wind turbines, powering the fog condensers, protecting the city from the dangerous creatures on the island. If you choose this option, you will be rewarded with the Crusader of Adam perk or the Inquisitor of Adam perk, depending on the actions you made in earlier quests. However, both perks have the same effect, which is increasing damage dealt based on current radiation levels. This is 10% increased damage per 100 rads, and if you're over 900 rads, you'll get a 100% damage increase. You also get Adam's Bulwark for completing the quest in this way, and as before, you get Acadia's Shield as well for agreeing to keep Dima secret prior to this. While I usually go the peaceful route when completing Far Harbor, it's time to make some brutal decisions in the name of perfection. By far, the best perk among these is the Crusader of Adam perk. Unlike the Destroyer or Protector of Acadia perks, this perk will remain constant instead of triggering under specific conditions. 
regardless of your build, this will provide the most benefits as the passive radiation you receive while traveling around will slowly make you stronger. Additionally, the Bulwark of Adam and Acadia Shield are far superior to any of the other rewards. Though remember, you can still get both of these item rewards as well if you go with the peaceful option. No matter which route you choose, if you choose a route that causes the destruction of one of the factions, be sure to buy everything unique from the faction vendors so you don't miss out. And that's pretty much it. For the perfect playthrough, the destruction of Far Harbor is a necessary sacrifice. From here, finish the main story, reuniting Kasumi with her family, and you'll be rewarded with a key to a stash which will always include a legendary weapon. I'm planning to make a video specifically about this loot as I've been doing some experiments with it, so you may want to hold off on grabbing this weapon until you see that video. And with that, the Far Harbor DLC is finished and it's time to make some more difficult decisions as we finish the main story of Fallout 4. And until next time, to survive in the wasteland, you gotta be efficient. Everyone in the town is dead, torn apart and eaten by the creatures of the island. What have you done? What about our plan to replace Tactus? I sacrificed one of my people for nothing. Why have you done this? I made a choice, Nina. It's more than you have. Don't you dare turn this around on me. I am not the one who's committed mass murder. I am done talking to you. I have to prepare Acadia for living in this new, terrible world you've had with us. I hope, for your sake, that you can live with all that blood on your hands. Are we clear to initiate the assault? We're clear. Let's move out. Very good. 